the semantics. And the question is, what's happening on the ground? Next up, the politics of terror, whether the candidates are making the right call when it comes to responding to the attack. Now, News' Flag Day coverage is brought to you by Golden Corral, the best buffet in the USA. Lexus MX Turbo and Hybrid, the SUV that dares to go beyond utility. This is the pursuit of perfection. Scientifically proven to improve joint comfort, shown on a cellular level to block enzymes that break down cartilage. Cosamin, formulated with integrity and attention to detail. For joint health, it's time to start believing again. Big savings on brakes have arrived at Pet Boys. This week only, get $70 off any brake service package starting at $69.99. So go ahead and schedule a same-day appointment at your local Pet Boys today. Trust the boys to get you there. We asked a group of young people when they thought they should start saving for retirement. Then we asked some older people when they actually did start saving. This gap between when we should start saving and when we actually do is one of the reasons why too many of us aren't prepared for retirement. To start as early as you can, it's going to pay off in the future. If we all start saving a little more today, we'll all be better prepared tomorrow. Prudential, bring your challenge. I have a great simple idea. What if you can watch movies whenever you want at home? I call it movies on demand. Simple, but Marvin, we already do that on Channel 500. There's more popcorn on demand. It's outside the box thinking. Get it? Because there's no popcorn box. I get it. Movies on demand. It's movie watching made simple. Popcorn not included. This summer, see the Rockets light up New York City. Fantasy football can turn that boring game into something exciting. It makes Sunday Sunday. I love the competition. I love the camaraderie. It gets me more involved with the actual sports. I love playing fantasy sports. If you want to regulate it, fine. Just don't take it away. Fantasy sports can be back, regulated, and the consumers protected. But if Albany does pass a bill by June 16th, it's game over. Go to fantasysportsforall.com and tell your legislator fans want fantasy. Tell me about your relationships. I value relationships, especially those who care about me. My wife, my kids, my infinity dealer. You have a relationship with your car dealer? Well, not just the car dealer, it's infinity of Linwood. They built long-term relationships with their customers. They care about me during and after the sale. I've been having this reoccurring dream. Tell me about that. I see myself cruising down the road in a beautiful new infinity. into the West through a failed immigration system and through an intelligence community held back by our president. Even our own FBI director has admitted that we cannot effectively check the backgrounds of people we're letting into America. Donald Trump, after the attack, are talking about immigration, refugees. Uh, this is the newest poll on this question. Regardless of how you intend to vote, who do you think will be most effective against ISIS? And this is Quinnipiac at 4941, uh, Donald Trump. Uh, Monica, let me start with you. You know, he, he spent a lot of time in that speech about that issue, yet this particular shooter was born in New York, was not from Afghanistan, uh, and 
obviously that doesn't factor into that element. What did you think of Donald Trump's reaction and the fallout from it? Well, I think this attack will undoubtedly change the trajectory of the campaign, at least in, in the foreseeable future. You know, you have external events that always upend the best laid plans of any campaign, and I think that's true in this case. When it comes to Donald Trump, he projects strength, leadership, decisiveness, regardless of whether you agree with him or not or what you think about Donald Trump, that is the image that he, he is projecting, which has gotten him this nomination so far. Also, a common sense approach, at least that's how it's perceived among uh, his supporters, and I think a majority of, of voters continue to look at what, how he's trying to tackle these issues. I think for Trump, in his speech yesterday, he, he strengthens his position on the temporary ban on Muslims, which the latest polling on that, which back in December was a Fox News poll, showing 50% of the American people supported that. When they took Trump's name out of it, it actually went up 55% of Americans supported that. He also strengthened his positions on immigration, as you said, surveillance of mosques and other areas where uh, suspicious activity might be taking place. I think because of that common sense approach in light of this attack, I think politically now the advantage lies with Donald Trump, at least for, for the immediate future. Yeah, I think there's so many people pushing back, but not Democrats, but Republicans. House Speaker Paul Ryan was asked about it today. Has it had time with the Muslim ban, either temporary or not? Right. Others are choice, security-based, not ethnic-based or religious-based, which makes a lot of sense to me. But I just want to get sense. I'm not sure that what he was suggesting to me, at least, was the strength and, the strength and decisiveness. I will say, though, uh, that, that, that Trump's message does resonate with large numbers of people, in part because, and this is, I think, a failing of the president, uh, what the president does is, is sometimes is that he confronts the fear mongers without acknowledging the legitimacy of the fear. In other words, large numbers of Americans, non-racist, non-paranoid Americans, think that Islamist extremist terrorists are a danger. And so you have to be, Trump worked his way into this slot by, 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 by seeing an emotional void, I think. And so that is a, that's a serious problem. That's a great point. You pointed out about the president's, uh, you know, some people have called it a tin ear on this issue, uh, even though he's a lot of emotional it, satisfaction yeah. sometimes with yeah. what he talks about. It. Okay. I agree to the extent he was addressing the fears of the legitimate fear. But like the Democrats on the left, everybody has a proposal for all this stuff that is irrelevant to the problem. On the left, it's gun control, as if France was the most strict gun control in the world stopped its attacks, um, as if the, bomb, the, the shooter in Orlando didn't admire and identify with the Boston attackers and even used guns. And this idea that somehow terrorism is immigration problem, I think, is also a false lead. There's much more to talk about. That is it for the panel, however. Stay tuned as support pours into Orlando from all over the country. All kinds of support.
Thanks for inviting us into your home tonight. That's it for this special report. Fair, balanced, and unafraid. Greta goes on the record from Orlando right now. This is the Fox News Alert. Is there a second terrorist? The wife of Orlando terrorist Omar Mateen may have helped plan the murderous plot. Brand new information tonight from foxnews.com. A grand jury to investigate the killer's wife has been convened. On the record, it's coming to you live from Orlando. And of course, we're just down the street from the Pulse nightclub where 49 innocent people murdered and dozens injured. And tonight, as the investigation is turning towards the killer's wife, we begin with Fox News correspondent Bill Key. Bill is live outside the terrorist home in Fort Pierce, Florida. Bill? Greta, her name is Noor Zahi Salman, and she is in hiding tonight, not staying here at her condo complex, but hold off with friends or family, but maybe not for much longer. That's because FoxNews.com has confirmed with FBI source that the federal grand jury has been convened by a prosecutor seeking to indict the wife of Omar Mateen with 49 counts of being an accessory to murder, 53 counts of attempted murder, failure to notify law enforcement of a pending terrorist attack and lying to investigators. Salman did make a brief appearance here at midnight, returning to the condo she shared with the mass killer and their three-year-old son to retrieve a few personal items. She kept her face covered from the cameras and answered no questions before driving away. Law enforcement sources also confirming to Fox News she knew a lot of details about her husband's massacre plan. She even went with him to purchase some of the ammo and even drove him up to Orlando so he could scope out the Target Pulse nightclub. Tonight, Mateen's father once again denied any prior knowledge. I wish I could know something that I could have stopped it and I could have arrested him myself. I could have called the law enforcement. So uh, I, that way we could have protected this, uh, uh, this tragedy and the terror father also saying if in fact his son was a closeted gay Muslim man, he never knew it. But that storyline also unfolded with several gay regulars of Club Pulse saying Mateen went to that club for years. And if not gay, definitely bisexual, even using the gay dating app Jacked for the past year. He was trying to pick up people, men. He's a homosexual and he was trying to pick up men. Uh, he would walk up to them and then he would um, maybe uh, put his arm around them or something and maybe try to get them to dance a little bit or something and then go over here and buy a drink or something. And to that, we've also confirmed with the St. Lucie County Sheriff that back in 2013, Omar Mateen worked as a security guard at the St. Lucie County Courthouse, but during that time, he made repeated inflammatory remarks which actually concerned several of his co-workers who told the higher-ups, and they determined that Mateen should be transferred out of the courthouse, and he was, and this all unfolded right as the FBI was launching one of its two investigations into Mateen. As we now know, that investigation turned up inconclusive. Greta? Do you think this is strange? You know, it is absolutely strange. 
strange and incomprehensible. Uh, they apparently, it appears, have enough on the wife, certainly to hold her. It is a mystery as to why she would be let loose. But Greta, this is sick. Yes, yeah, she's free, and, 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 and you have to wonder why. If she knew or had reason to know of this plot, if she went out and she helped him to get ammunition, if she went with him to various soft targets like Disney and this restaurant to pause, and if she was there at one time, that is clearly sufficient enough evidence to hold her. Well, I think, and, and just so the viewers are, are aware of that, less committed to trying to kill Americans. Calling a threat by a different name does not make it go away. This is a political distraction. There's no magic to the phrase of radical Islam. It's a political talking point. It's not a strategy. stories are just disheartening. I talked to a mom that heard the story about her, how her son bled to death after being shot. She, um, she thinks she was a, he was a hero trying to save others. I talked to an um, uh, individual that was shot uh, three times. I talked to a dad that was so, all he was lost his son, but he was focused on how do we make sure that we share information so this will never happen again. All right, have you heard from President Obama? No, I've not heard from President Obama.
expected that that was a reference to President Obama, that, that he was trying to contain them and not to throw in our fellow just like the car tripping them. Step me back from that. I want to destroy them. What they've done, what they've done to, uh, to this community, to the, you know, the gay community here, to the Hispanic community here, to Florida, to our nation. I mean, what they're doing is they're attacking our, our fabric of life. Uh, so I want to have a vetting process so we know who's coming into our country. I